All right, our next presenter is Tomas Evans from Anthropology, who will be discussing Exploring Shungbo's Erido, Africa's largest cultural monument, intertwining archaeology and 3D laser scanning. When asked to guess what the largest monument in Africa might be, many minds may wander to the arid north, perhaps the pyramids of Giza, or the ruins of ancient Carthage. However, it's the lush rainforests of Nigeria that in fact house such a monument, the mighty, millennium-old earthwork of Shengbo Zeredo. This vast ring of earthen ramparts and trenches extends for over 100 miles through the forest, and it shows the ingenuity and strength of the African civilizations that existed in this region. It even compares in its size to the modern megacity of Lagos. In spite of this, little is known about its past functions and meanings. My thesis investigates the purposes of Shungbo Zeredo to local Yoruba communities in the south of Nigeria who across the ages engaged with this earthen giant throughout their lives. By exploring the architectural diversity of the earthwork across its vast body, coupled with the material artifacts left by past communities, I hope to better understand how Shungbo Zeredo was constructed and maintained by them what it was for according to their belief systems and practices, and the ways in which its meanings changed over time as successive communities reused and reinterpreted it. I will analyze data deriving from an advanced and state-of-the-art technique known as LIDAR, light detection and ranging method. LIDAR utilizes laser scanning that penetrates the forest canopy, creating a three-dimensional image of the archeological sites below, including the earthwork. This allows me to better understand the spatial dimensions of how communities were organized and their differing ways of constructing different sections of the earthwork. Furthermore, my excavations at two settlement sites will shed light on the range of practices and activities that happened in its vicinity. For instance, excavated iron technologies, such as spearheads and hoes, will help me understand the ways in which military functions played out at the earthwork or the ways in which construction methods happened. And accumulations of animal bone, ritual ceramic, beads, will help me understand the religious meanings of the earthwork as well as the trade networks that surrounded it. These combined methods will bring to light the incredible ways in which the Yoruba maintained flourishing civilizations capable of engineering some of the greatest human heritage on earth. African cultures made dramatic influences on world history. And the more we understand ancient enigmas such as Shungbo Zeredo, the better we will informed we will be of the ingenuity of Africa as a continent, an ingenuity that comes from a great past and feeds in to a hopeful present. Thank you very much. <laughs> 